judges preaching the gospel in public Reaching the masses, jumping, Bible is all that we touching Esau be lynching, had us in slavery, gotta get vengeance All these cools they be simping, making no difference We taking shots, got him pimping Look at these pastors leading the jakes, they ain't never been valid Talking about Catholic, on the corner I step out the camera right, Give me Lamentations 4 and 5 That's right. right, in the in the CEV where it says that we um we ate we once ate the, the best foods, man Right, but we gave up all that to do what? To walk around selling Oreos for a dollar, right? But we once lived in the best lands, man. Lamentations 4, I think it's 4, it's four and 5. But I want a particular translation. I think it's a CEB. That's the best one. Where is that? Five. Yes, sir. Bring it out. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter four and verse five. Yeah, I want her to hear this. I want her to hear this verse. Shamak, I want her to hear this verse. Now I got her. I want to show you something real quick, sister. You want to hear this real fast? I got you. I don't know about all, but real. I got you. But hear God's words first. Give me Isaiah 55 verse one in the LLC. Watch this, sister. Watch this. I got you. I got you. Listen to this. Isaiah 55 verse one in the NLT. You said buy all your candy. What you got in there? What you got? Oreos, sweetest fish. Um, I think they got gelatin in the sweet fish, right? Got pork in there? No, I know. In the sweetest fish, no? I think it's good. Let's get it. Hear this verse. I got you. Hear this, hear this verse real quick. Isaiah, Isaiah. Listen to this. Come on. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. Bring it out. It says, it says, it says anyone thirsty? Anybody thirsty? Come and drink. Come and drink. Even if you have no money. You have no what? Even if you have no money. Go ahead. Come. Uh huh. Take your choice of wine or milk. So I want to trade you. He says, come. Buy and drink, even if you have no money, it's free, right? Go ahead. It's all free. It's all free, go ahead. Why spend your money on food that does not give you strength? So the way we operate up here, we're dealing with the spirit, right? We're not about to do things, because the Bible says in Matthew 4, man shall live by bread alone. Right. Yes, we're hungry, yes, we're hot, but we're going through the spirit right now. You know what I'm saying? We're dealing with the internal, go ahead. Why pay for food that does you no good? Go ahead. Listen to me, uh -huh. and you will eat what is good. So we had to listen to the Most High God, you and your, your young queen or princess right here, and you'll get what is good, right? The Lord may, you may walk with the block and a guy may come and buy all your food from you. You know what I'm saying? But I want you to receive God's words first. How does that sound? Good. All praises. I like that, little girl. I like that. <laughs> yes, sir. It's more on there, right? Yeah, kind of. Yes, sir. Good. Listen to me, uh -huh. and you will eat what is good. Go ahead. You will enjoy the finest food. What kind of food? The finest food. So, I'm a heavy set brother. I shouldn't be eating Oreos and sweetest fish right about now. I kinda, I'm trying to chill off the, you know, <laughs> the sweets, right? But I want to help out, right? But we have to make sure that you inquire for, for, uh, about the Lord first. I know one thing that you could do. What you know how to do, sister? That you could do nice. What's that? You know what you can do. You could just give it away and give it to homeless Give it to homeless people? So why, I should leave that up to you guys to do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause what we're giving right now is the truth to the homeless people, right? The ones that are, that are out here dead. We're dealing with this, this word of God. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to um, help you out a lot. Hopefully, brothers will probably help you out over there before the sun go down. But, you know, we kind of dealing with the Bible and, and receiving God's words. How, how that sound? You believe in God? You do? Wholeheartedly? Bring this out, brother. And this is Jeremiah 6 and 2. Bring it out. Says, I have likened the daughter of Zion. She have likened the daughters of Zion. Right. To a comely and delicate woman. To a comely and a beautiful and delicate woman. So Bible says he look at our nation as a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? That? You have your young princess right here. You're a beautiful sister. You got to come and serve your God. And, and, and in return, you have to have that favor that he will help you out, right? Because at one point, sister, we was not out here. Our sisters were not out here doing these things. Did you know that? Right? You have left. Give me that in, in, in um, Jude 1. And 22? Bring this out, brother, Lamentations. Con, this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 5 in the yeah, CD. Yeah. Is it Drew? It says, where it says um, who ate you have left your, 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 your godly in the streets. Left, I think it's oh, a, I got it. Yeah. Those who grew up in luxury. Read it again from the top. Con, this is the book of Lamentations, uh -huh. chapter 4 and verse 5 mm -hmm. in the CD. Bring it out. It says, all who ate expensive foods. It says, all of us that ate expensive foods. Lie starving in the streets. Because our people once ate the best foods. Now, where we at in the streets? We're in the streets starving. We're in the streets hustling. We're in the streets selling things to get a dollar, which is not a bad thing to understand. That's a curse from God. Because at one point, when we was in our Adamic state, right, back in our homeland, we didn't have to do these things. Right. You just was getting chauffeured around by your slaves, right. right? You wouldn't have to come out here, you know what I'm saying, and really put that groundwork in. You understand that? Read it again, King? Con, it's the book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It says, all who ate expensive foods mm -hmm. lie starving in the streets. Go ahead. Those who grew up in luxury. The people, because we once grew up in luxury. We're, we're kings and, and princesses, right? 
We're God's people, right? We was once in luxury. Go ahead. Con, it says those who grew up in luxury uh -huh. now sit on trash heaps. They're not, they're not doing what? Now sit on trash heaps. Now they digging through trash looking for food. Now they in the subway systems, homeless. Now they have to go out there and sell things for a dollar to, to pay a certain kind of rent to feed their family. But that was not what we originally was about. How do we get in this position, sister? How do people get into this position? What happened? Something went wrong. What went wrong? You think we got, you think we was doing this in the ancient of days? No. What was we doing, young sister? I think, I think she have a, she have a, a, a spirit on her. Think, a zeal on this young princess right here. People were teasing them? Yeah, the people looked at it and they laugh at people right now. But guess what? The people that are being laughed at now, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, at the end of the day, we're gonna be the ones that are ruling the earth. Right. right? So we'll have the last laugh. Right? So I understand it's hard out here, time is hard, but you have to come and accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and start keeping his commandments. And things will be what? On the up and up for our people. But you have to have him in your heart first. You can't negate God, negate Christ, don't teach it to your family, right? And say to him that he's gonna bless you. Because you'll be doing this for a long time and we don't want that for our people. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about that? You have any questions? No. Yeah? I she got here, brother got something for you. Lamentations 101. Give me Joel. 1 verse 1 and NLT. Joel 1 and 3. Jerusalem. Yeah. 1 and 3. Jerusalem. Yeah. 1 and 3. Jerusalem. Yeah. 1 and 3. Mm-hmm. She one and was three. once great among the nations. Uh -huh. Now sits alone like a widow. And now we sit alone like a widow, right? Fa fatherless. Go ahead. Once the queen of all the earth, mm -hmm. she is now a slave. See that? Now she's a slave. Now people out here destitute as a slave in this world. Why are you grilling a brother like that? Huh? <laughs> he brought something powerful for you. Understand what he just said? What did he just say? Read it again. She didn't hear what you said. So you believe that people are we are free or are we slaves? We're not slaves. We're not slaves. Why you say that? <laughs> Why are we not slaves? Give me Lamentations 1. And and four and three in, in the yeah in the um in the CEV. Why you say we're not slaves? The Bible says different. Say we slaves. Yeah. Lamentations one and three in the CEV. Let's watch this. It's gonna say something very very um prominent right here. And there's the book of Lamentations. Mm -hmm. Chapter one. And verse 3 in the CEV, mm -hmm. it says the people of Judah are slaves. The what? The, the people, people of Judah, Judah are slaves. The people of Judah, the so-called African-Americans, are Read it again. The people of Judah are slaves. Go ahead. Suffering in a foreign land. Which people are suffering in a foreign land that they're not originally from? Black. Give me a high five. That's right. <laughs> Give me that verse where it says flesh and weight told Peter, flesh and weight told Peter, flesh and weight Give me that verse. I told you she got a spirit on her sister now. Right? right? What you got? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to get something from you. <laughs> Mama, you are, I don't know. I'm going to have to get something from her, man. Right? Because she got a spirit on her. Listen to this verse, young sister. Bring this out. Con, this is the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 17. Bring it out. And Jesus answered the sister and said unto him, uh -huh. Blessed art thou, Simon bar -Jonah. What's your name, sister? Hazel. Blessed art thou, that's, I'm, 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 I'm Hazel. For flesh and blood, flesh and blood, have not revealed it unto thee. Ain't nobody told her to say that. That's we right. did not tell her to say that. This is not a, a prop here, right? right? Go ahead. But my father, but, oh, but my oh, father, but the heavenly father, which is in heaven, which is in where? Which, which is, is in heaven. Which is in heaven. Give me half of one more time. Check that out. Right. Right. Thank you. This is one of verse three. So she know that we're slaves. Mama, get it together. That's not her mama. That's your daughter. That's my niece. The niece. Well, you are her overseer, right? She are under your um watch. Lamentations one and verse four and three in the CEV. Lamentations one and three in the CEV. What is that? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Judah are slaves. The people of Judah. Look at that too. Look at God. God. Look at God. You see what I, I told? You see that sister? I told you that, right? That you playing on on, on this brother's hearts, man. You playing on our hearts. Mm. Right. You working hard, yeah. So he's a nice, so did you tell the brother thank you? Thank 
He's a nice brother, man. Now nah, he just bought you. Now nah, give me, give me, let me, let me get something, man. Right. He done bought you. Nah, nah, nah. Guy, right. guy. I'm, 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 I'm joking. We try to sell out. I hear you, but listen, sister. You stay longer. You never know. You might get an extra dub. Mm -hmm. You got. It's all, it's all up to you. Your God is watching you. The Bible said the angel that care about the bout. Mm -hmm. Angels are here watching to see if you really gonna you gonna stay or you gonna leave. So, nah, he, right? I might need an Oreo for the Shabbat. Cut up. So, <laughs> I, might, I ain't gonna lie. I need mean, a bag of Oreos. Give us, a, give us all. Yeah. Give us twenty with the Oreos, man. But give me that verse one more time. I'm just kidding, man. You don't have to. Unless y'all want them, brother. Listen, it's up to y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put some up in my ass, sister. Oh, give it to the bro, you know what I mean? Hold me down. Let them keep it for they can get some over it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. we trying to get out the side. I got you, but you in the shade, though. Uh, you in the shade, don't do that. Listen. Go ahead, see that? Lamentations 1 and 3. Go ahead. The, the, the people of hold Judah on, are slain. I want to hear this. You got it, sister? One more time, let's go. It says, Lamentations 1 and 3. The people are what? The people of Judah are slain. Hold it, what you said, sister? The people of Judah are slaves. What are they? They are slaves. We are not free out here. Look at that. Look at like, <laughs> Listen, the Lord put a spirit on this sister, man. She, held, she good. Keep reading. It says. Hold on, sis. Look at, hold on. Look at that. Come on now. Right? That's why it says we got to come together with your people. We're going to take care of y'all. Right? How much money y'all made today? How much money y'all made today? How much money y'all made, today? made today? Not much, right? Is this the most money you made today? You're going you gonna to say, say, say all praises to the most high. Say all praises to the Most High. Huh? Say all praises to the Most High. All praises to the Most High. That's right. Hold on, we're not done yet. <laughs> it's more on this. No, it's not. You, didn't hit you don't like money, do you? You don't like money, right? You like money or not? Because you just got a whole lot of money. You like money or no? Let me know. Okay, all right, man. All right, well, you could have got an extra hundo. I don't know, you could have got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. up to you. You got to get, so, you know what I'm saying? Repent. Oh, let them move you, I got faith in you, right? Keep going on that verse. But okay. well, you got to change your ways. Go ahead, one more time before you go, hold on. It says, let me tell you one in three. Uh-huh. The people of Judah are slaves, uh -huh. suffering in a foreign land, mm -hmm. with no rest from sorrow. With no what? With, with no, no rest, rest from, from sorrow. sorrow. People, it is in a land that don't have any rest from their sorrow. That's us, sister, the so-called black woman, African-American man, Native American, Indian woman, black woman and child Latino. We are in a land that we are not from and we have no rest for our souls. We are here hard working. Them crops look a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You're working my boots too, I'm not attacking you, but we are here boots on the ground for a long time, sister. Sure, yeah. right, we've been putting in painting, she backs hurting, it's hot, but we gotta make our money, we gotta do something. So right now we up here stacking our riches up in the kingdom. Yes, you understand that? So you could do your monetary game, but that's it on that, right? Yes, sir. Give me Joel 3, one more before you go. Con, this is the book of Joel chapter one and verse three. Uh -huh. in the NLT. In the NLT, go ahead. Con, it says, tell your children. It says do what? Tell your children. It says tell the young ones. About it uh -huh. in the years to come. Go ahead. And let your children uh -huh. tell their children. You heard that, sister? Let your little niece know to serve her God that she did a great um, deed today. That the Bible says if you give one of the prophets a, a, a reward, you give a prophet's reward. Can you get that for me real quick? Uh, right? This for her. Who's this, sister? Young sister? Who's this right here, sister? This is the devil. Who's that? The devil. The devil. Why do we say that's the devil? And this guy, the white people are bad, ain't they? They're evil yeah, people, ain't they? Right. You're the sister right here. You? You was here before. Good, King. Okay. She was. Listen to this, sister. Matthew 10 and 42. Uh huh. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones. It says, once you give to drink one of the little ones, guys. A cup of cold water. Uh huh. Only in the name of a disciple. Uh huh. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. You see that? The sister, it don't have to be limited to just water, right. but you help the Israelites in any, in, any, in any form of fashion with anything that can help us out, right? You give a prophet's reward. You'll be blessed, sister, all right? And that's what we are here to do, man. Give us a round of applause. You sisters love God? Y'all love God? You, don't, you love God? You want to hear God's words real quick? We got a verse for you in the Bible. You believe in the Bible? So come hear the word of the Bible, sister. One verse, sister. Right? And the sister gave us some little Oreos. Mm -hmm. It's begun for the Shabbat, brother. When you, when you go to the Airbnb, you open that, that, um, that um, Oreo, think about that little sister, man. God, God. Think about that little angel that he just sent to us, man. God. Right? When your ass smacking them, them damn cream. <laughs> when you 
you taking the cream off the Oreo? Remember that the Lord has blessed you. That's right. Right? But give me that Joel 3. Con, it's the book Who got of, the Oreos? They can throw the Oreos. Con, right. it's the book of uh, Joel chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. In the NLT, uh -huh. it says, tell your children uh -huh. about it uh -huh. in the year to come. Uh -huh. And let your children uh -huh. tell their children. Uh -huh. Pass the story down. Pass the what? Pass the story down. Passing it down. From generation. From what? From generation. Go ahead. To generation. My brother. My brother. How you doing today, sir? Can I ask you a question? Do you feel like we are under a generational curse? How do we get out of that generational curse? Don't, don't let your wife drag you away, brother. Be a man, king. Come talk to me, brother. Niggas is soft, man. Soft, ass. soft niggas, man. Checking in ass niggas. Hey, Katie, Katie. I have a question for you, Katie. I got a question, Katie. I'm um, Ann, my bad, Ann. <laughs> but the key is, we have to pass down this information That's from right. generation. Read it again, brother. Con, it's the book of Joel, um, chapter one and verse three. Bring it out. In the NLT, it uh -huh. says. Hey, 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 Jackie. Jackie, I have a question, Jackie. Real quick, you believe in God? Go ahead. It says, tell your children about it uh -huh. in the years to come. Tell our children, go ahead. And let your children tell their children. And let your children tell their kids. Breaking that generational curse. Because when we came out of Egypt, the Lord says, tell your children, right? And because when we get into the land of these niggas are going to forget. Yes. They wasn't here to see what the Lord had done in Egypt. They may not know. You have to keep reminding them over and over and over and over. Right? So in these last days, we got to perform that same act. We teach our children, go ahead. Con, it says, let your children tell their children, uh -huh. pass the story down uh -huh. from generation to generation. Go ahead. So guess what? So people could start knowing the Lord, right? Hebrews 8 and 8 says, when you put the laws in our heart, we have to teach every man to know the Lord. If we was out here teaching our children, right, as a nation, all these, these things, I would have to be calling for these niggas out here, man. Mm -hmm. Hold on, brother. Come here in the world, brother. Mm -hmm. You already know the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that's accountable to us as well. Right, because the Lord uses us, don't he not? That's right. So we're going to have to teach these people, man, to know the Lord, man. Right? Give me something for these two brothers looking like they came out of um, a golf field or something <laughs> like that. I don't know, man. My good brother, I got a question for you, sir. How you doing? You got two minutes, came to the Bible, to hear God's words? You don't believe in God? So I have a, I have a verse for you about God. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, King. Come on, brother. Don't let us down. Don't let us down, King. See that? Damn, man. He done, let, he done saw all these brown faces and let, let all y'all down. You see that? But what? We still gonna push forward doing this work. It is what it is. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna stop for no Negro. Right? If you don't want to hear it, hopefully the Lord wake him up in these last days. Right? Hold on. I got you. Um, Luther, um Lex Luther. Lex. Lex Luther. I got a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta chill. But um, the sisters coming up right here, man. Look at that, man. Beautiful sisters, man. Hopefully they receive the word of the Lord, right? My sister, can I ask you? Are you prepared to meet God, sister? You prepared, you prepared, you prepared to meet your God? You guys believe in God? Right? You hate your brother? See that? Yeah, it's okay. I know it's hot out here. Right? That's what they had to do, man. Show their assets. Right? Welcome, but we're looking right. for them spiritual women, man. Right? The one that's going to be receptive to, 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 to the Lord's word. Right? My good brother. Brother, you want to hear the word of God, King? You can never be good off God. There's only one good, good, um, good but God, brother. You can't be good, brother. Go ahead, man. Give me that precept. You got a precept or not? Yeah. Go ahead, King. Deuteronomy 6 and 6. Uh huh. Memorize his laws uh -huh. and tell them to your children and over right. and over again. And that's what we got to do. Memorize the laws of God Yo. and tell it to your children over and over. Bible said when you're walking in the way, when you're sitting in the park, when you're doing your daily activities, right. you always got to throw a little jab at your kids. Hey, what verse says Christ is black? Right? Test your children, man. Give them homework. Give them studies. You know what I'm saying? Right? Tell them to give you some laws that's not in the Ten Commandments. Right? Exercise their mind all the time to know, to know the law, man. Right? Because when the kids go into these, into these school fields, into these fields, they're going to be attacked by Satan. Right. Right? So don't be able to They're going to happen in school, social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Right? They're going to attack your child from all angles. Mm -hmm. But if you don't continuously be on top of your child's mental state about this Bible, about, about their culture, their heritage, you're going to lose them in these last days, man. Right? Is right? right? more on that? Yep. Go ahead. It says, talk, it says talk about them all the time. Jennifer, I have a question for you. I have a question, Jen. Why do not want to? Come on. Talk about them all the time. Uh huh. Whether you're at home. Whether you're at home. Or walking along the road. Along where? Along, along the road. Where we at right now? Along, along the road. road. Even when you're walking down hot ass belt line, 
Mark. You're supposed to be talking to your children about the laws of God. That's right. Don't never let them ease up at a bit. Because they can give you the America's holidays like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, they can tell yeah, you how much yeah, LeBron yeah. had, yeah. and like Bronny and 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 and, and, and um, 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 all the Lakers, not Bronny, how much he got, how much yeah. his GPA was, and all this, yeah. and all this who who blah. Yeah. And I asked you five questions. How give me five of God's holidays? Mm, they all have brain farts. She said Christmas. They all have brain farts. Uh -huh. And it's sad, man. But I ask those questions to let them know how they're going wrong. So they can feel like shit. So, you know, excuse my, like, my, my terminology. That he can know, he can know that he's a failure to his niece and his nephew. Mm -hmm. Not because they ain't your daughter, your son doesn't mean you don't give him the laws of God. Right? Go ahead, King. Yes, it on that. Read it again for this couple right here. God. It says. You guys believe in God? You believe in God? Brother, Elder, you believe in God, King? Brother. How you doing, sir? Do you believe in God? You believe in Jesus Christ? You believe that Christ came and died for your sins? So, question, what is sin if you don't mind me asking you? If he died for your sin, what is sin? That's not the question that I ask. Okay, but my question was, what is sin, my good brother? Can I show you what sin is, King? Do you wanna know? So you can know where, where you're going wrong at, brother? So you can teach your wife, brother? He got the card? All right, man. It's more, that's it on your precept, right? Yeah. Go ahead, King. Bring this out. Con, it's the book of Romans, chapter 15. Luke 1 and 77. And verse 4. Uh huh. In the CV, uh -huh. it says, And the scriptures were written uh -huh. to teach and encourage us uh -huh. by giving us hope. By giving us what? By giving us hope. So that's what the Bible does, man. It gives us hope. Before we read this book throughout entirely, we didn't have any hope. We thought shit, shit was over for us, man. When we look on TV, some people be like, yo, this is over for the black man. The black woman, man, they in a bad state. When we read this book, we understood why, right? The Holy Ghost came upon us and we have the spirit of truth, the comforter. Calm. So now we understand certain things Calm. now. We know how to operate now. We know how to get out of this predicament, Calm. right? By keeping the laws of God, right? Calm. My sister, you guys believe in um, God? You believe in Christ? You believe in Jesus, sister? How you doing, sis? You, you, yeah. Sis, brother, what's up, King? I got two minutes for you, brother, real quick. Two minutes, King, right? Them the same niggas that go to church on Sunday, man. I'm gonna be the same Negroes that go be in church on Sunday, right? And listening to TD and Dan Creflo Dollar, right? right? Them same ones, man, right? <laughs> Skating is not that cool, bro. Like, it's not even that cool, bro. <laughs> Niggas be too happy in the slavery, bro. Nigga think he the damn agent. Yeah, yeah, you're not in roll bounce, nigga. You're not in the goddamn skate key. <laughs> it's over. We did that shit back in the days, man. Read that again, my good brother. The book of Romans, chapter 15, uh -huh. 4. Bring it out. Deep. Bring it out. It says, and the scriptures were written uh -huh. to teach and encourage us uh -huh. by giving us hope. By giving us what? By giving us hope. Go ahead. God is the only one. He's what? God is the one. God is the only one. He's the only one, man. Right? White Jesus ain't going to do it for you. Right. right? Martin Luther King ain't going to do it for you. Right. Harriet Tubman, so, so, you know, no, but she ain't going to, she, she, she tried. But we need that savior. We need Christ to come back and get us out of this captivity, man. Christ is the only one. God is the only one. Go ahead. God is the one uh -huh. who makes us patient uh -huh. and cheerful. Uh -huh. I pray that uh -huh. he will help you live uh -huh. in peace with each other. And that's what we got to do. Bible says, if it's possible, be at peace with all men. My, 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 my good brother, you guys believe in God, sir? Sir, you believe in Christ, sir? You believe in God, sir? You cause? Can you tell me about God? He can't, right? And that's it, man. All right, let me get my last two precepts, man. What you got, Romans? Luke 1. Yeah, Luke 1 and 77. This book of St. Luke. Give me Zephaniah 1 and 12 in the NLT. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 77. Bring it out. Can I get a water? To give knowledge of salvation to his people. And that's why we are here lined up, right, in mass droves to bring salvation to our people, right? We have to pave the way for Christ to come back. Same thing that John the Baptist did, paved the way, right? We gotta do the same thing, appreciate you, King. Right, read it again from the top. To give knowledge of salvation to his people. Right, because they don't know that they're gonna be saved. They don't know that they have a chance of salvation, right? So we have to give you that knowledge and that kind of information so you feel you to repent, go ahead. By the remission of their sins. Go ahead. It says, through the, ten through the tender mercy of our God, uh -huh. whereby the day spring from on high mm -hmm. had visited us. Go ahead. To give light 
to them that sit in darkness. What, what, um, what are we here to do? To give light to, to them that sit in darkness. And we come out to give light to those that sit in darkness. That's right. Zephaniah says those that sit complacent in their sins, right? Settled in their leaves. Let me get that verse. Con. Zephaniah 1. Con. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 12 in the NLT. Bring it out. It says, I will search with lanterns in Jerusalem's darkest corner. Right. The Lord said, he, brother, question for you, brother. Brother, question for you, king. See that? The black man hate the black man, man. You sisters believe in God, sisters? How your sisters doing today? You guys read the Bible? You guys believe in God? No? You believe in Dr. You know, Dr. Miami? <laughs> read that verse again? She believe in that nigga. She put all her trust in him, did she not? Yeah, yeah, she did. <laughs> all her trust in that motherfucker. <laughs> this is the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 and 12. Bring it out. In the NLT, it says, I will search with lanterns in Jerusalem's darkest corner uh -huh. to punish those who sit complacent in their sins. You see that? The Lord says he's going to search us out with candles. Shed that light. What's that light? That commandments, right? Proverbs 6 and 23. Jerusalem's darkest corners and punish the niggas that sit complacent in their sins. You niggas out here are too comfortable, man. That's right. You get brother some damn rollerblades, he out here having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> right? But when you gave us the laws of God, we having a great time. Right? Roller skates ain't gonna do it for me. I'm not happy rollerblading or skateboarding, right? Playing ball maybe, you know, with the niggas, yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? But certain things I just it just don't make me happy no more, man, because we got the word of God. The most right? Word. So it says that you come, he's gonna search you out with candles, but I'm gonna read it again. Con, this is the book of what is this? Zephaniah Zephaniah 1 and 12. Zephaniah chapter 1 and 12. And then go NLT, back to that it book says, book. I will search with lanterns in Jerusalem's darkest corner uh -huh. to punish those who sit complacent in their sins. Go ahead. They think the Lord will do nothing to them. Uh -huh. They think that God ain't going to do nothing to them, man. So I'm comfortable in America. I'm comfortable doing Christmas, 4th of July, Valentine's Day, right? Eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. It's breaking all of the law, all of God's because you think that God ain't going to do nothing to you. But you got one thing coming, man, right? But we don't want the Lord to come and search us out. We're already out here letting that light shine, right? In a dark place. Go ahead. Con. Con. Back. Hold on, guy, finish oh, that. Con. It says uh, they think the Lord will do nothing to them, uh -huh. either good or bad. Go ahead, bring this out, King. Con. Finish that verse. Back to Luke chapter one, verse seventy-nine. Mm -hmm. To give Romans light to them that sit in darkness. So we come out and give light to those that sit in darkness because if, if God gonna do it, you ain't gonna like it, right? He might kill your ass. So we gotta come out so you have a time to repent and get your shit together. Because the Lord come and search your ass out, it may not be a good thing for you, man. Right? right? So we got to come in and give light to those people, man. Go ahead. And in the shadow of death, uh -huh. to guide our feet. To do what? To, to guide, guide our feet. feet. To guide their feet. Go ahead. And to the way of peace. And to the way of peace. If a nigga say he don't want peace, I don't know who he is. He got to be a coon. Right. We want peace, right? There's no right. peace in the Middle East right now. That's right. right? So we got to guide our people's feet. Put them on that straight path, make them get straight feet so we could be guided back into peace, right? Last precept, Con. Romans 13. Romans 13 and 11, uh -huh. CV. Bring it out. It says, you know what sort of times uh -huh. we live in. Uh huh. And so you should live properly. Th that's 13 and 11? Con. What version is that? CV. Give me, give me um, KJV, my bad. Con. Romans 13, knowing the time that it's high time for you people to wake up out of sleep. Con. This is the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. Chapter 13 and verse 11, uh -huh. it says, in that knowing the time. It says knowing the time, that right? Because in these times, you have to wake up, man. I'm sorry, give me second Ezra's now from the top, right? Because this time right here, if you ain't waking up now, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Uh -huh. When you watch the social media, you see all these wars, rumors of wars, Christ told you about that, man. When you hear these things, get ready, man, right? The Lord is going to visit this earth in a short time, man. That's right. Right, Romans? I mean, 2nd Ezra is not for the, for, I'm, I'm from the top. 2nd Ezra is 9, verse 1. Bring it out. He answered me then. Uh-huh. It said, uh -huh. measure thou the time diligently. Paul it, says, no one is trying to know the time. Right. You have to measure the time diligently. Go ahead. In itself. Uh-huh. And when thou seest part of the signs past. My brother. My brother. My good brother. Are you measuring the time diligently, king? Like, like God says? So you're watching social media, you watch what's going on, you getting ready for that? Right, you keeping God's laws, brother? You have to repent, king. Go ahead, brother. It says, when thou seest part of the signs past, uh -huh. which I had told thee before, uh -huh. then shalt thou understand uh -huh. that it is the very same time. It's the very same time. Wherein the highest uh -huh. will begin to visit the world, he gonna, uh -huh. which he made. It says, when you see these things going down, understand that it's the very same time that the highest is going to visit this earth. But before he does that, we're going to have to pave the way. Mm -hmm. We got to clear, we have to dust them streets and get ready for him to come back. Right? When Christ came into Jerusalem, what did they do? They had to go lay down certain things, right? Put them on that, on that donkey, put down palm branches on the floor, 
right? Paved that way for the Messiah to come and save Israel. You understand that? Right. So we out here doing the same thing, man. That's what it is. That's right? Keep going on that, King. Con, Romans 13 and 11, it says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Uh -huh. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe, right? In the slavery day, they had songs called a sweet low, swing low, swing chariot. I'm, 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 I'm sweet chariot, mm -hmm. right? They had that belief. They, they was waiting for that, right? Right? They didn't see it in the entire died off, right? But we out here now pushing that same type of um, narrative, man, right? That we have to come out here and wait for the Lord to come back. That's right. You know what I'm saying? No, because we know the time is at hand. That's right. right? It's more now. Kind. It says, in a, uh, the night is far spent. Uh huh. The day is at hand. Go ahead. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And that's what we have to do, cast off sin, cast off the works of darkness. Go ahead. And let us put on the uh -huh. armor of light. And let us put on the armor of God, right? Go ahead, I sit on that. Okay. All right, but that I'm going to give my praise. I'm going to go to the most of God, Yahweh. And I say, Kromi Ashola. Kromi Ashola. Kromi Ashola. Kromi Ashola. Kromi Ashola.